Please find a comfy spot and settle in. The show is about to begin. You know, for me personally, it would be great. It would, it would be the biggest thing I've ever been a, a part of in my life. It was for her outbreak. Clamidia. I hope that someday she can find the cure. Yes, I have a five head. I'm gonna be in the box. Everybody was concerned about floor fluorocarbons and aerosol sprays making the hole in the ozone layer big. Take a little powder puff and you wanna take a little bit of your setting. Just the cumin ones. Wow. I kind of mixed them up a bit. These, I believe, are just the chili powders. Chili powder. Oh, hear that? I got closer to 10 minutes. And these four are the mix. And there we go. And look, you've made your own tortilla chips. We should do all these about food. All should be about food. Oh my God. Next week, we should do uh, Queens can do, can do chicken fried steak. Chicken fried steak. Um, can we do dessert too? Ooh, queens can do banana sauces. Mm hmm Queens can do caramel cheesecake. Ooh. Wow. Bar. Bana queens can do bar food. Okay, I don't hear something good anymore. Oh my god, it's so good. You know what we should film? We should film one of those sexy hamburger commercials. Um. Triumphs that we have today in America. So I think um, now is the best time ever for it. Uh, RuPaul's Drag Race to win because I think it's the most accurate and relevant season we've had to date. Taylor, and this is my first time in drag for my YouTube video. Yay! Okay. Oh, hi. I'm Trinity Taylor, and you're watching Talking with a Tuck. I got to, to do all those things, and I don't think I explored makeup how I have now until I got on the show because specifically, Snatch Game makes you like do things that change your face. And so playing with stuff like that really inspired me to want to do other stuff. So um, I, I've explored a lot with different types of makeup. I like doing creative stuff. Just like you. Uh, and turning into characters. Like My most recent project was the 10 year anniversary poster. So I decided to take a super old art piece that I made back in 2011 and revive it for our decennial. Then each week since the new year, I created a little banner reveal that added a new person to the cast. And today, that banner was completed! Everyone is here! I'm allowed to say that, right? Well anyways, you can now purchase the 10 year anniversary banner as a poster and a shirt. So today on Talking With A Tuck, I get to interview my Drag Race sisters! Yeah! Sugar 
children and welcome back to another episode of Sugar in the Raw. It's your queen Chicka Kane here coming at you live from my quarantine studio here in um New York City. And I hope this video finds you kids living your little quarantine lives up in the panorama this week cuz trust and believe I don't know what. <laughs> I am sweating in this sweatsuit, y'all. It's a cute look, but child, I am losing inches as we speak. Uh, so I'm gonna get this started because, um, you know, like I said, it is hot. I am hot. Uh, so without further ado, saludos. I can't remember. Girl, I don't know. I'm hot. The last one, the other week. And let's get in this episode. Ew. Where's she at, girl? I feel. Mm. I know times in the season that I that I had were times when I was. Holla at me! I know you know me. Holla at me! I know you know me. How oh, funny can you make? Whoa! Is actually the Hulk's cousin. She got her powers through a blood transfusion and- You quite annoying over here, baby. <laughs> I don't know- It was 2%. <laughs> so I hope you guys- Obliterated the entrant. I really would like those removed. It's lovely to see you. I'm sorry that I'm gonna have and give her everything. I don't know. I can't remember. Girl, I don't know. I'm hot. The last one. Um. I live, I'm so excited for this psychic reading, and then, girl, I'm literally like, boop, what is happening? The questions are like, does someone live on a farm? Is there a cow on the farm? Does the name start with C? Sugar Shablam Alakazam, baby! This is the final look. My entrance look from season 11 of RuPaul's Drag Race. This was inspired by the Blonde's New York child. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. If you didn't, well, I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> Follow me on social media at Miss Sugar Cane on Instagram, Facebook, Sugar Cane, y'all. It has been a pleasure. I can't wait to meet each and every one of you. Love y'all. Please welcome to the stage Mercedes Iman Diamond. Oh, 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 honey. Oh, 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 child. Oh, 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 oh. My name is Mercedes Iman Diamond. I am 30 years young from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Mercedes was born eight years ago, because I used to own a Mercedes. So I was like, you know what, is my drag mother. I'm everything queen, like I do pageants, you know, I'm an entertainer, I love just entertaining people and having a good time. Mercedes is fun, she is outgoing, crazy and fun, energized, like <laughs> Everyone knows that African princess has arrived. To get started, Take the potato and place it up on its side. Get a good firm grip on the base of your knife and then cut it lengthwise. Lay both pieces on the flat side and cut them in half again. To get that wedge shape, flip up your potato and cut it right down the center. To be on this show, Dreams do come true, trust me. Bitch, I finally got the call. And when I got the call, I thought it was a joke. I was like, no, nope. And I was like, no, let me listen to this again. Yeah, they did call me. So it is, it's, this is real. Um, I will say, when you start drag, be grateful. 
don't forget where you came from, okay? Drag race is a blessing, but everything can be taken away from you, so you have to be grateful for it. Don't forget where you came from, and just, and don't bring your bridges. What's your name? Morkadis. How do you spell that? It's M-E-R-C-K-E-S. Is that Mercedes? Yes. Bitch, that ain't gonna get you nowhere. I'm gonna football tackle this dough, honey. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> You hear that siren? All the thing I hear is come in, Sylvie. Oh, you told me to come in. I'm here, honey. You got she there. Oh. We are living in desperate times. Welcome, my queens. You know what? I am so happy, like, seeing parents bringing their kids so, you know, open their eyes, like, you know what, you can be whoever you want to be, which is so amazing. I wish we had that when we were young, but we didn't, but I'm glad we do now. Right. Like, all the new generation, they're going to grow up with drag queens and, like, seeing all this stuff. Like, you're not going to be judged, honey. Be who you want to be. Okay? Right. Be who you want to be. Doesn't matter what religion, doesn't matter what culture, baby. As long as you have it, baby, that's all it matters. <laughs> you earn everything. Look at this. Earn everything. Uplands. You own everything. Uplands. You earn everything. Uplands. You earn own. Uplands. You own everything. Uplands. You own. Everything. Cost a lot of money when you start, you gotta spend money, and down the road, honey, it will pay for it. I promise you. 
and keep on moving, honey. And don't forget, a couple years later, still, thank you again. African Princess has arrived, you guys. I am serving you nothing but beautiful, honey. Little bit blonde, bigger hoops, s and on the side. Yes, I am ready for the stage now. You can find me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Mercedes Iman Diamond. Don't forget to follow me. Thank you, guys. To this. To this. To this. <laughs> to this. To this. Here we are! Yes! <gasps> okay, yes, I'm feeling it. So this overall look is just fun, girl. I wanted to give you like space age Barbie girl. She's got a bowl cut now. Hi, I'm Trinity Taylor and this is Talking with a Tuck. <laughs> to this. So here we are again. Welcome to Talking with the Tuck. I'm going to interview some more queens. Ah! Absolutely. So I, the concept of both songs and both music videos completely were my idea, though the director who also produced the music for which um, Tyler Stone, he obviously helped me with because he's so creative. We've known each other for years and years and years. But, um, yes, definitely my idea. <laughs> Hi, it's Trinity the Tuck Taylor from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9. Discreet. A term used to describe a gay, bi, or questioning person who is not out yet. Other terms used are DL and on the low. The best thing to do when you get into a situation with someone who describes themselves as discreet is to respect their boundaries and know what you're getting yourself into before you get to the encounter. Thanks so much. Back to you. To this. Um... So yeah, so another thing that happened on the share episode that people love to talk about is my conversation with Asia. As much as I can, I try to skirt away from this conversation because it's very one-sided. What aired was Asia telling me what she thought about my experience. What didn't air was me explaining my experience to Asia. In that conversation, if you rewatch it, you just see me nodding and kind of holding back tears the entire time. When in Drag Race history have I had nothing to say? So, um, as much as I do appreciate that Asia came over and talked to me and tried to relate to me in that moment, I wish that I would have been able to have a voice for myself. And this is my finished look. This is the look that won episode two of season 10, and this is the hair that I would have worn with it if Monique had not tricked me into wearing that hair that she borrowed from Eureka, starting all that drama, but I still look sickening and I still would have won. Thank you for watching this makeup tutorial. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Vixen Bitch.
mean to interrupt you in some important business, but I just wanted to ask you a couple of questions. Hi guys, it's Trinity, and you're watching Talking with the Tuck. Hey everyone, it's Trinity the Tuck, and thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm super excited about today's topic, which is fashion. Some of you might think that I'm a fashion queen, some of you might not. Either way, we've all been on both spectrums of the good and the bad, the ugly and the pretty. Speaking of the pretty, Happy holidays. Are you ready for the holidays? No. No? Well, that you gotta I, get that ready. That means I have to spend money on people and I don't Okay, well, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready for the holidays, Cameron. Keep up. I like Halloween better. Keep up. And guess what we're doing today? What? The RuPaul's Drag Race Holla Slay Spectacular. job as people to try and help her through a situation that is clear that she's struggling. Asbury. It might not be pretty, but girl, you're gonna be moving like this. They ain't gonna be able to. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I want you. I want you. It came up on this one side, so that's why I'm just like posed right here with my hand held. So, girl, when you finish your number and if it came up, you just, yay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Coming down the runway, Pandora. this Asia. and Asia hi uh, I am so excited to be here <laughs> yes of course <laughs> thank you I mean it's insane to say that because I'm like what I never thought I never thought because and you look great you always look great so girl you were on the Simpsons also then it was like I've always been Pandora like I've been Pandora since I was 19 and especially in a small town, no one wants to date a drag queen. They do not want to date a drag queen, and they certainly don't want to date a drag queen. Absolutely. Oh, it was very hard, so I thought, well, maybe I'll just go to, like, a different thing as, aside from a club, something I'm not performing at. I'll chill. Yeah, thanks for oh having God, me how on. How fun! Uh, Party! I thought, hey, you know, like, it really worked. I put it out in the universe, and it happened. We went out, we were hanging out. And then, you know, we went back to his place one night and he's like, like, I'm very like, I don't know. Sure. Whatever gets you in the mood, hot stuff. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I love you. And cheers to your return. <gasps> oh, here I am. It's totally done. An almost flawless look. And I'm just going to go do some light jogging before my show.
My biggest piece of advice is to don't get discouraged. Just go out there and do it. Don't care what people say about you. Just keep going. If it's in your heart to do it, do it. Unless it's robbing a bank, you shouldn't do that. So there you have it, my makeup tutorial. I hope you had fun with my post drag race look. Like, you know, you're like your fun aunt that everybody has. I'm always in the background going, I gotcha. That's me, Auntie Pandy. So I've had a great time with you guys. So I hope you learned a little bit how to look like almost flawless like me. What surprised me most, most about the entire process is, you know, I have built my career on preparation. Like, uh, We've lost yes, I know, see? <laughs> Room for growth, the stuff is falling off. It's running away from me, literally. The biggest thing is like, there's no way to prepare for it. Hi, I'm Dax, exclamation point. Watch Marvel make me a hero. I'm a drag queen and a cosplayer. I always, you know, wanted my drag persona to, I always wanted to be more like the super heroine version of an actual woman, but more a drawing of a woman. The idea of what that- Got up and walked to the door and said, the vixen, we need you to stay. But the fact that we, including myself, let her walk out, she, that door closed behind her and she said, yeah, I guess I'm making the- You know, it's, it has this other three people that I looked at and said, that's my competition. I saw that years ago and I was like, oh my God, it's a dandelion. And I was like, oh my God, it should be, you know, worked into drag at some point. And then flash forward to getting onto Drag Race and, you know, we had to bring a hat. I went and bought it. I put it together the uh, the day of the challenge. I was a little afraid they were gonna say, girl, that's a headpiece, not a hat. <laughs> Absolutely. If you come to Dallas, it'll be hanging in my living room. <laughs> you know who surprised me the most was the Vixen. She tried to trick us. So she kind of was the person that had the most growth week by week um, out of anybody. the character you see the girls present on the runway to the character you see them present in Untucked. So if I had to tease you with anything, because you're gonna wanna revert to it later. It's the one time where you can really say, you know, what you, magic. Pure, unadulterated magic. All the people that I now see are people who are just like me. I mean, really, what a time to be taking part in this insanity. I am finally feeling I'm so proud of both of them and they look gorgeous. <laughs> Now that is class, that is great, that is beauty. You know what, you know, that sent, that sent a couple of girls home during the show.
think? It's my final look, the Tangerine Dream. Hope you guys like it. This is from the Good Twin, Evil Twin Runway. I have absolutely had the time of my life sitting here with you guys. If you wanna see more of me, more of my looks, follow me on Instagram, Asia O'Hara. I am looking forward to getting to know each and every one of you. And if you wanna see me do some different looks or different things, let me know, I'll be happy to do it. I love you guys and thank you, bye! You bow and... <laughs> One day you're in, the next day you're out. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> you're gonna hate your life. Hi guys, it's Trinity Taylor from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9 and I'm gonna show you... Thanks for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Bye! And now here we are with the final look. For fake blood, I use an acrylic paint because it dries faster and it's easy to wash off. So it's a good trick for you guys for Halloween or any other looks that you require blood or color on your body. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. This is my favorite Lady Gaga and I'm so glad to do it again. Follow me on all social media at Trinity the Tuck. You can see my website at trinitythetuck.com. Come over, see me, say hi, and I love you guys. Have fun. Tag me if you do this look. I want to see it. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. And tell your friends. Subscribe. If you loved me, you know my name. It's Trinity Taylor. If you didn't, I'm Eureka. See you next time. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>